Okay, my um, 12 volts uh, AutoCraft uh, marine batteries. This is a big one, 675 cold cranking, and um, maximum cranking is 840. The reserve capacity is 210. This bolt came out of here, so it's loose, and because I was trying to start my outboard uh, motor, Johnson 90 horsepower, and um, I didn't have the all the connections uh, very tight. Um, one of the connections to the ground was loose, and that's why it caused the uh, all the terminals overheat. And that's why this um, is like this. It's not supposed to be like this. This should be an easy fix. I, if I have some lead that I can melt it down, then um, this is going to stay in there. You know, so... Um, my plan is to screw this in here, forget about this thing, and hopefully by drilling this into there, and I can use this stud, this stud, so that's the plan, well, let me see if I can do that, um, and, um, you know, so that's the plan. into here I just need to uh, find a uh, stud like this and then I can uh, put it in because this one is bad you know so I drew a hole I'm going to try to find a stud so this is my weird looking um, battery terminal because the stud was uh, broken away so I have to in what do you call that uh, implement so this is what I did um, I have this long uh, long uh, stud it's sharp over here and um, on this side I can just screw this in but uh, this bolt this knot is not gonna go all the way down so I have to create some spacer for it um, for it, um, for this to come up here um, so I have washer to so that's what I did I just put the uh, PVC pipe here put the washer here and then put the knot here and, and then put the connector connection here and then put the knot and then just lock it in like that you know um, it's not perfect because it's not level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build something that will be level um, you know put something underneath here maybe you know, to make this PVC pipe level and then I'll be able to put this washer down and then that other um, terminal ring connector and then I'll be able to connect this uh, I'll be able to lock this terminal tight onto this stud here and um, that's the DIY approach for this uh, battery um, that uh, this this terminal and burn this terminal that uh, the shred are no longer working for this knot. That's why I have to implement and that's why I um, use this stud that I have in my toolbox um, it's just lying around and I think it's something that I um, disassemble and then I just left it in the toolbox. I figure someday I will be able to use this stud and there you have it. So that's the DIY approach. I'm going to show you the other battery because 
the other battery I have the same problem with with the with the with the stud. Now, but the other battery was not because of the uh, shorting of the terminal or the positive to negative shorted at the stud, but because I was trying to crank this motor without tightening these connections. So it the the cable got the wire got so hot, it kind of moved and melted the uh, lead uh, that have this stud sit in, so that uh, it actually burned and this this melted the the base of the stud and the stud actually came off. So I have another one of these and I just drilled it in uh, to this uh, lead piece lead plate. And then um, you know my um, and then I use my um, you know thing to be able to connect to it. So there is my DIY uh, battery stock repair. Okay.